Hello friends, welcome in lecture of fluid mechanics subject. Myself, Mites Patel. I am an assistant professor in a mechanical department at a Dr. Subhas Technical Campus, Chunagad. Today's our lecture topic is a venturi meter. So in this lecture, we have seen the what is the venturi meter, what is the application of venturi meter, where it is fixed. So let's start the lecture. First of all, we see in the what is the venturi meter. So venturi meter is a measuring instrument. It measure the rate of discharge in a pipeline, and it is permanently fixed to the section of pipe to measure the discharge. Okay, when we have to discharge measure into the pipe, that section we have to permanently fix the venturi meter. Okay, the venturi meter. Mainly consists of three parts: converging, throat, and diverging. This portion of figure is a converging part of venturi meter. This portion of small diameter, this is a throat, and this section of venturi meter is a divergent part. Okay. So venturi meter is mainly consists of three parts: converging, throat, and diverging. Okay. Now, types of venturi meter. So venturi meter is mainly classified according to in which position is placed into the pipe. So according to that, horizontal venturi meter, ven vertical venturi meter, and inclined venturi meter. So Okay, now we have derived the equation of discharge or rate of flow for a venturi meter. Okay, so first consider the venturi meter is fitted in a horizontal pipe through which the fluid is flowing, as shown in figure. We can see the from the figure the fluid is flowing through the venturi meter and pipe is perfectly horizontal. Okay. Now, first we have considered the section one and section two at a throat and section one at a pipe. Okay. Now, D one P one is a diameter at a section one, pressure at a section one, and V one is a velocity at a section one, velocity of fluid at a section one. And A one is a cross section area of pipe at a section one. Okay. Now D two, P two, and V two is a diameter, pressure, and velocity at a section two. Area is a cross section area at a section two. Okay. Now we applying the Bernoulli's equation at a section one and section two. So we know that. The pressure energy, kinetic energy, and potential energy at the both side of section. Okay. Now, the venturi meter or pipe is perfectly horizontal. So, potential energy difference is zero. So, Z one is equal to Z two because the datum height at a section one and section two is equal. So, Z one is equal to Z two, so equation have only pressure means pressure energy and kinetic energy only. Okay, now we have to find the value of pressure head, pressure difference head. Okay, so arrange in this way equation. So write the equation as this way. Okay, now we know that difference of pressure head is written as a Small h according to figure we seen from the we see from the figure the difference in the pressure at a section one and section two is defined by the h. So difference of pressure head between a section one and section two is defined by the small h. Okay. So equation is written in form of small h is equal to 
v2 square upon 2g minus v1 square upon 2g okay now we applying the continuity equation at a section 1 and section 2 so continuity equation is mentioned that a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 okay so we get the value of v1 from the continuity equation so v1 is equal to a2 v2 upon a1 okay now put the value of v1 into the this equation so we can get the this equation now v square upon 2g is take a common so in bracket only 1 minus v2 a2 square upon a1 square is remains okay so equation is just modifies in this way now we get the value of v2 from small h equation so v2 square is equal to 2gh a1 square upon a1 square minus a2 square okay now from both sides we can remove the square so v2 is equal to under root 2gh a1 square upon a1 square minus a2 square okay so this equation is v2 value now we know that the discharge equation is equal to a2 v2 okay at a section 2 so now we have a value of a2 this v2 value is put into this equation then we have find out the discharge from the venturi meter okay but this equation is theoretical equation we have considered the ideal conditions so actual discharge is lower than the theoretical discharge so actual discharge is q is equal to coefficient of discharge is multiplied by a1 v1 sorry a2 v2 okay so this actual equation is right in this way and cd is a coefficient of discharge for a venturi meter okay or we can say that coefficient of venturi meter now value of h in the case of differential youtube manometer how we can find out according to this equation h is equal to x in bracket sh upon s0 minus 1 sh is a specific gravity of heavy liquid so is a specific gravity of liquid flowing through the pipe means light liquid specific gravity and x is a difference of heavier liquid column in youtube okay now we see the how the equation this equation is get if consider this youtube manometer is fixed to the venturi meter at a section 1 and section 2 which we have earlier consider okay so section 1 have a higher pressure and section 2 have a lower pressure so this condition is occurs into manometer now consider this datum plane and compare the both side of pressure head okay liquid column head or pressure head okay then from left side we can get the p1 plus column height pressure rho 1 g h1 okay and right side p2 plus light liquid column rho 1 g h2 rho 1 is common for the both light liquid because the liquid is common which is flowing to the venturi meter okay so density is common for column 1 and column 2 okay so rho 1 g h2 now the second column of mercury so this pressure head for the 
column of mercury is a rho h g x x is nothing but the difference of h1 minus h2 okay now we have to find out the value of pressure head difference so we convert the equation into p1 minus p2 and remaining is right side okay now rho 1g is take a common so so in bracket remains only h2 minus h1 okay now take now multiply with the minus in this element so sign of the h1 and h2 is differ so here h1 minus h2 which is defined by the x h1 minus h2 is defined by the x okay so here we mention the x h1 minus h2 instead of okay so equation become p1 minus p2 is equal to minus rho on gx plus rho h g x okay now we can rearrange so p1 minus p2 is equal to rho h g x minus rho on g x okay now gx is take a common so in bracket rho h minus rho 1 okay now in right side of equation we divide and multiply by the density of water as shown in equation okay now we know that density of heavy liquid to the sorry ratio of density of heavy liquid to density of water we know that it is a specific gravity of heavy liquid similarly density of light liquid upon density of water ratio is specific gravity of light liquid okay now take a specific gravity of light liquid is a common from the bracket so in bracket sh upon l sl minus 1 okay now we know that specific gravity of light liquid is equal to density of light liquid upon density of water so density of liquid is equal to specific gravity of light liquid into density of water so here we can write the density of light liquid okay now rho into g is moved to the left side so write in this way okay and here remains is a x in bracket sh upon sl minus 1 now we know that the pressure head difference difference we can write instead of pressure head difference small h so is equal to x in bracket sh upon sl minus 1 here sh is a specific gravity of heavy liquid it is a mercury and sl is a light liquid it is a water or any other liquid which is flow into the but when you remit it, okay. So this equation is get from there, okay. Now, if the differential manometer contains the liquid is lighter than the liquid flowing to the pipe or venturi meter, then we can say that the inverted manometer is used, then sign is different. An equation become for H is find from this equation. Okay, this equation is also derived from the same conditions, but the YouTube manometer or differential YouTube manometer is inverted. Okay. Now we have solved the one examples for venturi meter, so you can get the idea how the venturi meter is used to forward discharge find out okay let's take an example a horizontal venturi meter with an inlet and throat diameter inlet diameter is a 30 centimeter and throat diameter is a 5 centimeter okay respectively is used to measure the flow of water the reading 
of differential manometer connected to the inlet and, and the throat is 20 centimeter of mercury. Here you tube differential manometer is used and reading of manometer is 20 centimeter. So, it is defined by x, x value is 20 centimeter. Okay. Now, determine the rate of flow. You may take coefficient of discharge for a venturi meter is 0.98. Okay. So, we have write the data which are given D1 means diameter at a section 1 30 centimeter area we can find out from the diameter at a section 1. Okay. D2 at a section 2, A2 means area at a section 2 we have find out and D2 is given. So, we find out the A2. Okay. Now, CD is given. Now, we know that the H is find out from the equation H is equal to X H SH upon SO minus 1. So, we know that SH is a heavy liquid specific gravity. So, specific gravity of heavy liquid is heavy liquid is a mercury. So, specific gravity mercury and SO is a specific gravity of flow flow liquid. So, flow liquid is a water. So, SO is a specific gravity of water and SH is a specific gravity of mercury. Okay. So, we know that the value of specific gravity of mercury is a 13.6 and specific gravity of water is a 1. Okay. So, we find out the value of value of H is a 252 centimeter. We know that the x is given 20 centimeter. So, we can get the value of edge in centimeter 252 centimeter. Okay. Now, we know that the discharge equation of venturi meter Q is equal to CD A1 A2 upon under root A1 square minus A2 square into under root 2G H. So, we have a value of all element in this equation. So, we have a value of CD area of at a section 1, area of at a section 2 and we also find out the value of H. So, put the value of all elements and we have find out the value of discharge. Okay. Okay friends, I hope you all very well understand the what is the venturi meter, how what is the application of venturi meter and how to measure the discharge from the venturi meter. Okay. Thank you.